this is going to be a very short video today because I do not have much nice thing, much nice, many nice things to say about this week's episode of Supernatural. Uh, I will say that I did like the monster of the week. I love the ghost story. I love the house. I thought that was really creepy and the doll and all that was really, really cool. I love that part of it. I didn't even like the episode up until the last 10 minutes. If you've not seen it, stop right now because there will be huge, ginormous spoilers. So, I um, did not like it. <laughs> I, okay. Why would the writers have Mary Winchester leave? And why did they not have Dean try to stop her? Because she's not been around for 30 years. Mary Winchester is dead. And I know that she can, I mean, legally dead. I know that she's a hunter and she can do all this stuff and she can um, forge things. She knows how to do that. But it's been 30 years. <laughs> when she was walking out the door, shouldn't one of them have said, Hey, Mom, where are you going to live? Hey, Mom, what money are you going to use? When you walk out the door and you slam and it's very effective effect and, and, and Sam like flinches and it's really sad, what's she going to do after that? And I know Mary's smart and she could figure it out, but... To me, it was very against her character to walk out on those boys. Not that they're boys anymore. And I don't think personally that Dean would have just stood there. And somebody else commented that he was like re re regressing, reverting back to his four-year-old self when she died the first time. But he's not that anymore. He's 36 years old. He has been to hell. He has... He, he When he talked to God, he actually had a conversation. But with Mary, he just let her walk out without saying anything. And I thought that was probably the most non-character, in-character thing about the whole episode. Besides Mary leaving. I get... I'm a mama. I get needing your time. <laughs> but she could have... You know, Kevin was at the at the bunker, and if the writers didn't want to have her in every episode, there's another wing. Kevin was there for months, but he wasn't really there. You know what I mean? So that was this uh, was my very least favorite episode, and I'm gonna say of the entire series. And I hope I don't get backlash for that. But I, I loved it up until I mean, it had a very good parts. I loved it up until. The last five minutes and I thought that was so out of character for everybody just to let her leave you know and and Lucifer's still out there and they didn't even make her get an anti-possession tattoo even though we know she can be possessed so I'm sure they're going to use Mary the pawn and blah, blah blah and I'm really hoping that, that it gets better and there was a point but I was very sad <laughs> not just sad irritated and as a writer I can understand making people irritated <laughs> I'm sure I put some stuff like that in my books, but there needs to be a point and it needs to go with your characters. And to me, it didn't go with the characters and it didn't go with the point. What's your thoughts? What do you think about this episode? Did you like it? Did you think it went with Mary? Did you like the twist at her leaving and not being forced to leave? Leave a comment. We need to talk about this because I have been upset. <laughs> not upset. Like, it's not messed up my life. But, you know, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. I'm sorry I didn't do a live um, record and reaction video like I did the last time, but it's probably a good thing that I didn't. It's probably a good thing. <laughs> Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I'll see you later.